work is still on hold to lift pieces of the key bridge out of the Patapsco River. It's due in large part to all of this rain we've been getting. 11 News reporter Tori Yorgi joins us live from Dundalk. And then Tori, the governor says the current conditions are just unsafe for the divers. Right, Governor Moore really pointing out the effect this weather is having on the work that's being done in the Patapsco River as they try and pull some of the key bridge out from the water. And this comes as we're getting a closer look at some of the murky conditions that dive teams are dealing with as they assess that damage under the water. Just a couple inches beyond my fingertips. All right, All right so, so you can't, can't get, get to, get to the, the bottom. bottom. New video from the Army Corps of Engineers showing the view underwater where the mangled key bridge now lies as we learn more about the conditions divers are dealing with. The water is so murky that salvage divers cannot see more than two feet in front of them. It's cloudy because of the four to five feet of mud and then just the loose bottom of the Patapsco River. Divers are working basically in darkness because if they if they use lights if we lit it up it would be like they were driving through a snowstorm with their high beams on the unified command is ready to begin removing containers on the dolly they say they just need a break in the weather we need to lift those undamaged containers off to give us space to safely operate to begin to plan to remove portions of the bridge that are also now embedded into the ship. Rear Admiral Gil Reith says they're also at the mercy of the weather for further removal of the debris. Removing the rest of the debris from the bridge from the waterway. We are again waiting for another weather window to be able to do that 350 ton lift off the section that's just immediately north of the deep draft channel. The Army Corps of Engineers says while crane operations have paused, salvage operations are still continuing. We're still planning on removing that three to 4,000 ton span that's resting on top of and leaning up against the vessel. The governor also confirming no hazards have been detected in the water around the ship. There's no danger inside of the water right now, but we continue to monitor, we continue to examine, uh, and the boom is still going to be out there to making sure we're capturing uh, any type of residue that pushes out. Once again, that boom he's talking about is a water barrier that's there to catch any residue coming off of the ship. We did hear from the Unified Command today, though, saying the two alternative channels they opened yesterday have received eight tugs or barges to the Port of Baltimore. Live from Dundalk tonight, Tori Yorgi, WBAL-TV 11 News.